Hi everyone. Today's topic is virial equations. So which are very important uh, in thermodynamics. So for an isotherm, isotherm means it's a constant temperature. So if for an isotherm if we consider as P increases, V decreases. That means the pressure increases then the volume will decrease. So the PV product, if you take the product PV for a gas or vapor, it's nearly constant and you can express by a power series expansion in pressure. So here we can see the PV is equal to A plus BP plus CP square plus and so on. It goes on. Let, let us consider this B is equal to A B, B prime C equal to A C prime. Then the equation becomes PV is equal to A into 1 plus B dash P plus C dash P square plus D dash P cube plus and so on. It goes in a series. That is the power expansion series so already you know in mathematics. So here A, B prime, C prime these are constants for a given temperature and given chemical species. So A is same for all the gases and depends on temperature only. So that's why we can write this PV as PV star is equal to A which is a function of temperature. So PV star is equal to A which is equal to RT. So the PV star is directly proportional to temperature. So here PV becomes equal to A. So we represent that as PV star is equal to A where we consider the remaining all is constant. That is the pressure is constant. So continuing this we have uh, this ideal gas. By ideal gas temperature scale if you take this constant small a is replaced by rt then the equation becomes pv is equal to rt into 1 plus b dash p plus c dash p square plus d dash p cube plus and so on so now we can write z is equal to pv by rt by substituting in the equation we can write this which is equal to 1 plus b dash p plus c dash p square plus d dash p cube plus and so on so this PV by RT is called compressibility factor and this is represented by the symbol Z. So similarly we can write, can write another expression that is Z is equal to 1 plus B by V plus C by V square plus D by V cube. So which is represented in terms of volume. This is written in terms of pressure and this expression is written in terms of volume. So these two equations we call it as virial equations. So and these uh, parameters that is a B dash, C dash, D dash and B, C, D they are called virial coefficients. So these parameters B and B dash they are second virial coefficients. C and C dash are third virial coefficients and similarly D and D dash are fourth virial coefficients and it goes on. So these virial coefficients, they are functions of temperature only. So it will be uh, representing as a function of temperature for a gas. So we can relate these two coefficients. That is a B, B dash, C, D, C dash like that. So when you relate these coefficients, we can write these two coefficients as B dash equal to B by RT, C dash equal to C minus B square by RT whole square. Similarly, D dash equal to D minus 3BC plus 2B cube by RT whole cube. So, when you substitute this B uh, in place of, so B dash, if we consider those two expressions, we can write these things as B dash equal to B by RT like that. So, these are known as the virial equations and these are virial coefficients. We consider the different relations for the second virial coefficient and third virial coefficient also. So if you like my description, please subscribe my channel, Chemical Engineering Lectures channel. And also please like, share and comment. Thank you.